the weight class 170. Some people are saying it could be an advantage to uh, Cowboys Cerrone. What do you think about it when you see people say, why is it 170? This could be the big mistake going into this fight, doing 170. Why would Connor try 170? He's not a 170 fighter. What's your reaction when you hear well, that? Well, as you said, 170, the, the, the second Diaz fight, he looked phenomenal at 170. Against Diaz, that I'd say was a lot, a lot bigger than 170 when he walked in. And Connor's power uh, carries on up into that way. He's quicker, he's more agile, he's faster than these 170 guys. So, you know, why not? And and, and and for us now, I think, and for Conor now, it's, it's about enjoying it and not killing himself to make way for, for unnecessary reasons, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe if it was a title fight or something like that, yeah, he'll do what needs to be done like he always has done. But um, if there's no need to do it, he, he feels confidence. He, carry, uh, he feels confident. He carries the power up to that way. He'll be quicker, he'll be more agile, he'll be more evasive than these guys. And, and you know, why not do it then? You know what I mean? Mm, I remember at UFC 205, we asked Conor McGregor about, you know, if he wants all the belts on on the table. Tyron Woodley was the champion then. Yeah. He said all oh, the belts, and yeah. he saw Woodley was a bit like, eh, yeah. it didn't quite work out. Mm. And there was a little bit of a thing, I believe, at the early weigh-ins where McGregor was sort of testing the water there. Mm. And now we got uh, Kamara Usman as the champ. Mm. He's going to be here during fire week, and you got Jorge Masvidal. He's going to mm. be cage side, the BMF champ. Yeah, looking for a fight with Conor McGregor. Is do you see Conor McGregor sticking around? 170 does a fight with a guy like Jorge yeah, interest you well I'd, I'd imagine so yeah it's you know it's you gotta go with what kind of feels you know mm. what I mean and what he, he wants to do and what he enjoys and he's always been known for doing crazy things and you know who knows he might he might jump back in the box and he might he might go down to 70 you just never know and I don't know and you know I don't even know if Connor well Connor does know I'm sure he has a plan in his head <laughs> that he'll let us all in on when he's good and ready but yeah, def- two phenomenal fighters, Masvidal and Usman. Uh, yeah, you know they pose a lot of threats, and but like a- like anyone in the in the game, there is holes in everyone's game, and it's just about spending enough time and watching them and, and looking looking for the holes in the game and, and trying to capitalize on that. So it would be exciting to see see one of them in there. Yeah. Well, I was going to say on that, do you think those are winnable fights for Conor? Because I know that MMA is one of those sports where it's like, uh, it's a what have you done for me lately, right? And Masvidal's on this crazy tear, Usman's on this crazy tear. So people look at those guys as just absolute killers. I, f- I feel like it'd take a big win to, to sort of remind people of, of what Conor's capable of. Do you see Conor being able to win, you know, either the BMF belt from Masvidal, if Masvidal puts it up, or the, the welterweight belt from Usman? Yeah, yeah. I, I, as I said, like, we're kind of uh, carrying the weight, uh, carrying the power up to up to that um up to that way if he touches people on the chin you know they're either out or they're close to being out and then he's like a sniper he's just waiting so i mean he can do it on anyone do you know what I mean? and i've seen him I, i've seen him do it with big guys with light like heavyweights with with um middleweights you know with welterweights he, he it's it's phenomenal and uh, you know i've been hit a couple of years ago back in the you know back in the day i've been hit by them as well and i've and i've been hit by big guys as well and there's something different about when when you when you hit clean by Connor. He hit, I mean? he threw the flying knee against Khabib before Masvidal yeah. ever threw it. it. Just missed a little bit. People yeah. don't really realise yeah, if you go yeah. back onto footage, yeah, that's right? right? Yeah, Jesus, yeah. When you think about it. You, you hold pads for him. How much of a difference are you feeling in power with him at this weight class? And I know people sort of said, well, he didn't knock out Nate Diaz. Does his power sort of? transfer at 170 but do you think part of it is just because it is Nate Diaz and yeah, almost I no I think it is I just like nobody's nobody's knocked Diaz out clean and he's been hit with everything he's been hit with everything he's just so durable and he's just he's, he's just hardy do you know what I mean um, but I've seen it in the gym I've seen him fight big guys I've seen him land on big guys and I, and I see the same reaction every time they get hit and they're dropped, or they get they get hit and then the fear sets in, and then kind of smells that he'll smell fear and then then he'll set you up, you know he'll he, he'll throw one or two fakes or he'll throw something at you and before you know it, he's got your reaction uh, recorded and then he's gonna put you away, you know. Mm. So I can I think you can do it on anyone.